Welcome back to another edition of the Picture Book Post. I'm Dr. Aaron Shaw. Today we're going to be talking about Not All Animals Are Blue, a big book of little differences by Beatrice Boutington. Uh, I'm sorry, Bouting Nun. <laughs> uh, anyway, so uh, basically, we, what we have here is a, a book that is not that has no narrative. There's no story going through that begins and then ends at the end. Um, it's a very interesting book, and in fact, it takes me a little while. You're basically comparing differences between these animals. Um, very interesting that uh, that every single one has five of these things. So this one is five gentlemen showing us their hats. Uh, this one is five little donkeys waking up from their naps. This one's uh, four, well, <laughs> and I stand corrected. I thought it was five. Uh, four dinosaurs and one pterodactyl, but see five raccoons, uh, five monkeys. So, uh, but then the other half of the page tells us some of the differences. Look, no hands. And so you gotta go through and figure out which one's not using hands. Oh, this one is, whose tail is wrapped around? And you go through, and you go, oh, that one's tail is wrapped around. Uh, who, is who is using both hands? and both feet up oh, that guy is so and that's how all of them are, are that way they all kind of have these things what is the baby saying well then you got to go figure out who has a baby and, and so that's kind of how they work um, it's an interesting take on uh, you know kind of an educational thing I would say it's for a much younger audience um, this is this is probably preschool or, or below where they're gonna be together trying to find where the differences are uh, even my six-year-old is probably gonna be like uh, what are we doing dad uh, so so aside from that I think it's actually a really cool book and a cool way to do this um, you know most kids love animals they like finding differences between the things so in general I think this this is actually a pretty pretty nice and nifty little book uh, for kids that are trying to learn the differences and being able to spot the differences between um, pictures. So all in all, pretty decent little picture book and I liked it for what it was and uh, hopefully you'll like it as much as I did. So anyway, thanks for listening to the Picture Book Post and we'll talk to you next time on the show.